We're already in April. That's four months into 2024. I did the math there in real time so you don't have to. And I have some updates on the channel. They're all, I think, yeah, they're all positive. Oh, how refreshing. Let's start. First off, and this one is very important, I wanna thank you, as always, for watching the channel, watching the reviews, the rants, the roasts, live streams when I do them. It's, it's been tougher lately, I've been busy. If you're like me, you probably watch this type of show while you're doing something else. I can't imagine you sit down for 15 minutes at a time and just look at me ranting or talking about films. You're probably doing the dishes, mowing the lawn, folding laundry, whatever. And I, I appreciate that too. Multitasking is fine, I think. I do it all the time. That's how I usually use YouTube at this point is as a companion, as someone that you can kind of have chatting in your ear. And that's how I've kind of taken the approach to the channel this last year is how do I kind of listen to content on YouTube and watch content in different places? If it's not a movie where I'm sitting down giving full investment, what's the thing I like most about YouTube? And that is people just talking like real people, having some fun, trying to entertain and be engaging. So that's always been my mission. And I think we're really turning a corner this last year, finding an audience and having people kind of speak out about what works and doesn't, me listening, and then taking care of business. And that has been happening. I'm very happy to report I get about 100 new subscribers a day now on the channel, which is freaking unreal for me that that's nothing that's ever been close to happening in the past and so because of that i'm not really planning any crazy shakeups. although i do have a big addition i have two big additions actually i launched a brand new channel on youtube this week called adam does rants it's exactly what it is i do movies here i do rants over there of course there's some crossover because i also rant about film here but on that channel it's everything non-movie related I just recently bitched about public bathrooms and how disgusting they've gotten. There's not any political talk over there. There's no religious talk over there. I understand people watch this show from not just America, but from Europe and all, all over the world. So why limit the audience by talking about some boring ass stuff going over here in the States? There's so much more we can agree with, like bathroom etiquette or how rude people have become on their phones or missing ingredients. And you know what? I was at McDonald's earlier today with my son for breakfast and they they gave me the wrong order and I drove away and it was a shit show. It was absolute bedlam. And so these are the first world problems I plan on bringing to the table on that channel. So please subscribe over there. It's growing at a decent clip already, which, which I'm happy about, but full disclosure, that channel was at one point called Adam Olinger, which is my first and last name. And then I killed the channel. I made all the videos private. So this is the Phoenix Rebirth. I renamed it and now I'm going to kick it back into life again, like I did with this channel two years ago. This thing was dead in the water and we, we brought it back. We Frankensteined it back. So please do me a favor and subscribe to that channel. There will be at least one new video a week, if not two. I'm hoping for two. But that was a perfect segue before into my other big bullet point, which is all those videos that used to be on that channel, over 300 of them, are available for Patreon users at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies or if you're a YouTube join member here. Although I will tell you point blank, if you are looking to support the channel in any capacity, even at a $1 tier, YouTube does take like 30 or 40% of every YouTube join member. Patreon has a far more generous split in that regard. So if you're thinking about maybe switching over, that would be fine with me for sure. And you get more perks over there as well. So not only at $1 a month, do you get access to all of those videos that are private? You also get, if you are a gold member for 10 bucks a month, an exclusive vlog every single month, as long as you stay on that membership. And this isn't just me in the car talking. There is some of that, but these are very produced videos. I'm doing different camera shots, different angles. I'm going through different, more personal things in my life. I have one where I, it's like a 20 some minute long video at Megacon. And it's basically documenting my entire trip from beginning to end. I have lots of footage at the booth. I have other creators in the video. It's a great video. There's also one where I go with my daughter to her first day at work at uh, Ben and Jerry's ice cream shop on Kiowa Island. So I kind of go over the island and what I do while I'm there, how I work remotely from my computer. It's, uh, it's another great vlog. 
And I found this was a great way to kind of say thank you to people that are supporting me because at the end of the day, really Patreon, what it's for is to just say, hey, Adam, I love what you're doing. I understand that you work full time. You got a family and this is a secondary job. And so it's just a way to say thanks and to support at any tier you want. But I want to give you something for that. So if you are a $10 member every month, you get that vlog. If you are a $20 member, which is platinum, I think, or something, I don't remember the names of them. You get two vlogs a month. If you are a Mithril member for 30 bucks a month, you get three. So you get all three each month and that, that stacks, of course. Third thing I wanna go over the live videos. I had a couple recent issues with live streams. In fact, my last one, which is a complete disaster. I was froze up constantly. I don't know what's going on. I fought with my internet provider about a million times. They gave me this brand new package. I got all these different uh, hubs that are bouncing Wi-Fi signals. It says it's really strong. I don't know if it's the software or what. I'm working on it. But the goal is to bring these back for Tuesdays. I missed two in a row. I actually jumped on my buddy's Hack the Movies live stream right at the end of it and I, my mic dropped and smashed and it was a complete disaster. And so I have a brand new mic I'm using. Hopefully it sounds good. Hopefully it sounds really good because I want to keep this one for a while. Tuesdays, I want to bring those back though and I'd like to have a guest on for every one of those. I have lined up a couple for the next weeks to come. So hopefully things line up and I'll see you Tuesday nights at 9.30 p.m. Eastern time. I, I'm not going to do the conversion chart for you, but where I'm at in the South, it's 9.30 p.m. I used to do Tuesday nights and Friday nights, but engagement wasn't that high on Fridays because I guess people do have some sort of a life or they're probably going out to see a movie, which is what I used to do. But I go on Thursdays now and that's a lot easier and get the review out faster. Lastly, and I suppose I could say least as well because I don't put too much stock into it, but I am on Instagram pretty regularly now. I post a lot of, what do you call those things? The stories? I post a story at least a couple times a week. It's usually an update of what's going on on the channel, what videos are out, or just me being stupid and going to work out or hanging out with my kids or my wife or whatever I'm doing. I post those there. Uh, I, I post a lot of the sh YouTube shorts there and on TikTok at Adam Does Movies. I'm also on X, the artist formerly known as Twitter. Hate that freaking rebrand with the passion of a thousand sons. But you can find me there as well. And then I have a Letterboxd account and there's a Discord server, Adam Does Movies. I think that's it. I think that's all the updates. I don't plan on really changing anything because things seem to be going pretty damn well. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the growth, at least. The plan is to... Keep reviewing a bunch of movies, watching some of the streaming stuff and reviewing it. I can't believe how many views my stupid J-Lo movie review has. <laughs> this is me, dot, 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 now. <laughs> this is me, ellipses, now. Uh, but yeah, I plan on doing, doing more streaming stuff as well. So yeah, thank you guys very much, and hopefully I see you soon. Take care.